If you ask baseball fans who the most controversial player is in today's game, a whole lot of people would say Trevor Bauer. Bauer has pretty much always been a guy who people had problems with, dating back to college when he and now star Yankees pitcher Garrett Cole had beef. According to Bauer, Cole insulted his work ethic and said that he didn't have a future in baseball, and this was when they were teammates. Their relationship was so bad that a former UCLA coach said that there was a better chance of the world burning up than Cole and Bauer ever squashing their beef. Bauer's first major league team was the Diamondbacks, and right away, he started to make enemies on his own team. After Bauer was traded to Cleveland where he would spend several years, it was later revealed by D-backs catcher Miguel Montero that Bauer quote unquote rubbed people the wrong way and his bad relationship and conflict with the management was all part of the reason he was traded. Bauer has since almost cost his team a chance at a World Series because of a drone, has gotten in online Twitter arguments with random fans, disrespected his manager because he was mad, and is now in the thick of a big off the field situation where he was accused of a Assault, while also having someone else come out and accuse him. With this all knocking Bauer off the field where the Dodgers are paying him millions upon millions of dollars to sit on his couch. His paid administrative leave has continued to be extended to the point where he will not be pitching again for the 2021 season and it also begs the question as to if Trevor Bauer will ever pitch for the Dodgers again or for any team in baseball. What? Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel and end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. I'm sure Trevor Bauer has some talents other than baseball and pissing people off, but those are definitely the two things he's best at, and he said as such, quote, I'm good at two things in this world, throwing baseballs and pissing people off. End quote. Back in 2016, Trevor Bauer decided that it was a good idea to play with a drone before a playoff start. The drone ended up cutting his finger. He still went out and made the start, but had to leave during the first inning. You then have when Bauer tweeted at a female Astros fan on Twitter an endless amount of times over her saying that he was her least favorite player in sports. And during the 2019 season during a start against the Royals that wasn't going well, Indians manager Terry Francona went out to take Bauer out of the game. Out of frustration for his poor performance, Bauer turned around and chucked the baseball over the center field wall. He was later traded to the Reds that year, a team that he'd go on to win a Cy Young with the very next season. Trevor Bauer was riding high heading into the 2021 season. He just won the 2020 National League Cy Young Award, got the most money for a single season by any player in history, it was on the Los Angeles Dodgers. You know, the juggernaut that had just won the World Series. Signing the problematic Bauer was going to raise some questions, no doubt. With Dodgers president of baseball operations and Dodgers president slash co-owner apparently even having multiple conversations with Bauer about his online behavior. So they knew it was a risk. They felt it was a risk worth taking and they're certainly paying the price for it, but we'll get into that later. Bauer started off 2021 hot, pitching over 100 innings to a 2.59 ERA, striking out 137 hitters, had an 11 and a half strikeouts per nine, and a 2.6 wins above replacement. Easily a part of the Cy Young conversation, at least as of June 28th, and that's where we'd leave it at, because less than 24 hours later, an accusation against Bauer would become public, one which stated he assaulted a woman during an encounter. At first, nothing was said on the matter by Bauer, at least not publicly, and this is something that would stand for a while. What he did do, though, is disable the ability to comment under videos on his YouTube channel. Right away, Bauer's agent Rachel Luba released a statement defending her client and saying that she hopes the truth will eventually come to light. She also disabled the ability for most people to comment on her tweets. During the court hearing between Bauer and the woman's parties, Bauer actually won the case. This is what his lawyer had to say afterward. We are grateful to the Los Angeles Superior Court for denying the request for a permanent restraining order and dissolving the temporary restraining order against Mr. Bauer today. We have expected this outcome since the petition was filed in June but we appreciate the court reviewing all the relevant information and testimony to make this informed decision. Thank you. 
What the woman wanted was a restraining order against Bauer, with the judge ruling that he did not impose as a threat to her. The texts that became public were a big reason as to why she lost the case, as they showed her consenting to a lot of the pain she ended up enduring. That gets to the idea that Bauer's alleged victim wanted this to happen, and that he's actually innocent. Now, it's proven that he did hit her, but the texts imply that she wanted it to happen. The woman also had a romantic encounter with Fernando Tatis Jr., an encounter which of course didn't feature her getting hurt at all, but this is important for a reason. She makes it clear in texts to a friend of hers that she loved being with Tatis and that she has her quote-unquote hooks in with Bauer. This is what makes the situation a little more tricky than if Bauer had just assaulted her without consent. And just recently, yet another woman came out to accuse Bauer. This time, it was a woman in Ohio and someone who apparently had allegations against Bauer dating back to 2017. She filed a temporary order against Bauer, who had allegedly sent her text saying he would kill her if he saw her again. After this second situation became public, Bauer finally spoke out publicly for the first time since before the first situation became public. Quote, the Washington Post has spent the last six months digging into my life, attempting to contact hundreds of female friends and acquaintances with whom they suspect I had some form of romantic relationship. End quote. In the midst of all this, the season has continued to roll on, and it seemed like it was only a matter of time before Bauer was done for the season, and that now is officially the case. According to both sides in the investigation, it seemed as if it wasn't going to end anytime soon, at least not until after the season was over. So Trevor Bauer is officially done for the 2021 season. This is what Bauer's agents John Federoff and Rachel Luba's statement said, quote, Today, Mr. Bauer agreed to extend his administrative leave through the playoffs in a measure of good faith and in an effort to minimize any distraction to the Dodgers organization and his teammates. He continues to cooperate with the MLB investigation and refute the baseless allegations against him. Again, by definition, administrative leave is neither a disciplinary action nor does it in any way reflect a finding in the league's investigation. End quote. Speaking of the Dodgers organization and Bauer's teammates, that brings up an interesting question that I've brought up in other videos, but I'm going to bring it up here again. Well, it's a few questions, actually. Will Trevor Bauer pitch for the Dodgers again? Would the front office ownership and fans welcome him back? And would his teammates welcome him back? According to reports, we do know one of those things, and that's that most of his teammates teammates would not want Bauer back in the clubhouse. It all started when several of Bauer's teammates unfollowed him on Instagram. There was then a report that came out, stating that two people with knowledge of the Dodgers clubhouse dynamics said that the majority of players do not want Trevor Bauer back under any circumstances. The Dodgers as a team don't seem to want him back, canceling his bobblehead night and taking his merchandise off the team's store and shelves. The contract is just an absolute nightmare now, for the Dodgers that is. Bauer made third $38 million for the 2021 season, a season which featured Bauer sitting out for more than half of it. Not what you want. So Trevor Bauer, one of if not the most controversial players in baseball today, and someone who has multiple teammates who don't like him, is not going to be pitching again for the rest of the 2021 season. And not only that, but he may never pitch for the Dodgers again. As for his future in baseball in general, only time will tell. Let me know what you think about Bauer's situation, and thank you for watching.